Hey, Bart here, Mastercrafts RV Center, and today I'm breaking all the rules. I have not even had my techs check this unit in. They have not cleaned it. They have not done their work on it yet. It just arrived from the factory like, I think, less than 48 hours ago. Um, I just wanted to go in, take a look at it, and I thought, oh, this is pretty cool, so I'm going to make a video on it before it's even ready. And I'm going to post it so you can see it. I don't even have photos yet on the website. So you're going to see a video without the photos. If you, if your timing's right. If not, you're going to be like, I just saw the photos, Bart. What the heck are you talking about? Um, this is the open range 275 RLS. And uh, I really like it. Um, the decor inside is very Bartish. Uh and the layout is really, for a travel trailer, it's really good for a traveling, um, well, I call it the traveling worker camper, but it could be the traveling couple. Um, mo a lot of my sales are traveling workers who need something to live in during the week instead of the hotel room. So I'm going to show you about that. But uh, it comes in at about 7,000 pounds curb weight, travel link. You can talk to your camper, uh, you know, change the heat, the AC, the lighting, you know, all the stuff you have to get up and push buttons. You can just sit on the couch and, uh, and do it from your phone and get a little bit more obesity and diabetes right there. Over here, we're talking about that thermal shield again uh, with the PVC roof. Uh, that reflects more sun's rays. It also is uh, less prone to puncture and tearing and all that good stuff. PVC is superior. It's just a little bit heavier and more expensive. And it's got a heated enclosed underbelly. Don't ask me about kid and pet friendly. I don't know what, what, what makes it that. Uh, but <clears throat> over here... We got our outdoor kitchen area. We got a fridge. We got a spot for your grill. We got, okay, I guess that's just a box. We got an outdoor shower. And we got a spot to put a TV. Yay for the TV. All right, we're gonna close this down. <clears throat> close that up there. Do we got a spot back here? Oh, we do, we do. That's where our grill. That's where our grill for cooking is going to go. They, they give us a, a, a cover for our tires, a ladder, a backup camera. We're going to go up here. I always close these even though it takes up some time on the video because otherwise I might forget. So that's, the, that's just the kind of guy I am. We got two awnings because two has got to be better than one. And we got two big outdoor speakers. We're going to go inside. It's a hair messy. You know, we still got our work order here. We're going to move that off to the side. Our chairs are still in the plastic. The table pulls out. We have our theater seats. The seats, uh, if you take a look, they got heat. And this button says massage. And that one says you can turn on a light. It's, it's usually underneath here the light is. And this is a spot uh, where Thomas Paine has a thing. You can buy accessories to stick in there and have, like, magnifying glasses and reading lights and fancy TV trays and stuff. And you can hide the remote in here, but it'll never be there because we're all married and we know how that works. And uh, it's got... It does not... It might on the video, but in real life, it doesn't really look like leather... It's kind of like pebble, sandy, crocodile, skinny, I don't know. And it feels like satin. I don't know. Something, something like that. Uh, I like the wood grain look with the white kind of country thing there. It goes well with the standard open range walls. And what I do like too is a fabric looking like couch and feeling like couch. Nice. I would definitely put some protector on it. Um, over here, we have our fireplace and speakers, our TV. Uh, ooh. What's this? 
Ooh, big pantry. With a light. Thank you. We got the marble looking countertop. Feel underneath here. It is, it is a surface. We have the island. Oh, big, big area. So you can make what you want out of that. Big area down there. Shelves, big area there. We have a big stove top with the cast aluminum burner cover, microwave. I'm not sure what size fridge this is. Let me look. 10.7 cubic foot fridge. So that, that's a big one. Big freezer. I'm gonna go over here real quick. I'm trying to move along quickly. Uh, curio cabinet? Cabinet? I, I don't know what, I don't know the names for these things. It's a cabinet, people. Yeah, it's a cabinet. Go all the way, ooh, long way, all the way down there. So, I'm gonna get it up here. All right, see? That is a nice, big window, 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 window. I mean, for crying out loud, the whole slide almost is just window. And that's very challenging for them to do because the slide box has to support itself. So from an engineering standpoint, they got to have a place to put the structures. So they very, very limited in this slide box design. So I bet you anything it's aluminum framed in between because I don't see how they get the strength, but I know I'm being a nerd. All right. So we got a uh, air conditioner. And we got another air conditioner up here. So we got a two AC unit. Go in here. I like this. I opened it up the first time I went, ooh. So we got the wood top with the under countertop sink with room to get, actually get your hand under it. I'm gonna open this up. Medicine cabinet. Not just some skinny two incher, but you actually got, you know, space to put stuff away. You got a nice big square glass shower, door and everything, with, you know, a good shower head. You got your toilet and your vent fan and all that good stuff over here. And you got an AC duct into the bathroom. Hello, right? How, how many other ones do you actually see with AC blowing into the bathroom? And you come in here to the bedroom. So, your other AC unit, lots of space. And I'll show you that, that uh, closet in a second. This is a nice mattress. Might as well give you a nice mattress because so few of you actually buy my mattresses. And then they got that. Oh, you can't see it with the camera. Let me get up close. You can see it with your eyeballs, but it's... Uh, 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 paneling with the lines that way, it's nice looking. It kind of gives you like that shippy, oceany feeling. Um, and then we're gonna lift this up. And hey, there's a there's a bed thing down there. Um, heater duct. Notice it's not on the floor, so it doesn't like you know, catch dirt or whatever. Um, and then we got some room. So we can walk over here, open up our big closet, or you can put in your uh, combo washer dryer. And it doesn't have to be ventless. We can put a vent over here. And they have put in some decorative caulk paint. Eh, I'm not sure what you call it. It's kind of like a paint, but it's thick. Almost looks like a caulk. They've taken the extra time and effort and it really kind of pops. Uh, you got your zone controller here with your TV. Uh, so it's uh, pretty cool. I think that's, I don't know. Just gonna hold it. 
and it pops off. I don't know what that does for certain. I'll have to push that when it's turned on. So anyway, I really like this thing. It's sweet. You feel like you're in a house when you're traveling or, you know, for a lot of people, instead of staying in the hotel room, when they got work to do, they can uh, buy one of these and keep it at the campground. Pretty awesome. Mastercraft RV Center.